No, I just go do my thing, have as much fun as I can. Obviously love, uh, love hooking around race tracks, you know, and, and hopefully I can bring as many people along for the ride as I can. You know, that's the, that's the important thing. If you want to jump on board and ride my wave, um, happy days. If you don't, no problem. For those of us who've chosen to ride the wave with Jamie Wincup, what a ride it's been. At the age of just 31, he sits alongside Pete Gagan, Dick Johnson and Mark Scaife with five V8 supercar titles to his name. Jamie Wincup, the best in the business, is now alongside the best of all time. If Wincup claims his sixth title in 2014, he'll surpass the greatest drivers of all time. But will he be the greatest ever? As a driver, he's often under fire for lacking flamboyance and charisma. He prefers to project a quiet confidence, an intense focus, an enigmatic nature that has us captivated. I won the, won the championship in Sydney. I crossed the line. I'm absolutely knackered, completely drained. Um, and I know the right thing to do is jump on the car and act like a bit of a clown, like I've got all this energy. But to be honest, I just want to go back to my hotel room, have a cold shower and lie on the bed and have a sleep, you know. But I've obviously got to be very respectful and make everyone understand how much of a team sport it is and, um, and acknowledge the people that should be acknowledged. I don't try to hold anything, I don't try to let anything out, I just be myself and that's, uh, I, I gotta be, I gotta stay, I really gotta stay true to myself and I think that's long term, that's, uh, that's what will make me the happiest. This journey for Wincup started back in 1991 when his father David bought him a go-kart. In racing, Wincup found his calling. I haven't done anything else but racing since I was seven years old. Like honestly, since the first weekend, all I've done and thought about and all I've spent most of my time doing is, uh, is racing. An Australian Formula Ford title at the age of 17 grabbed the attention of rookie scout and team owner Gary Rogers and shortly after his V8 supercars journey began. But it was short-lived. After his first full-time season he was dumped and the 12 months that followed were tough. No rookie's going to just perform higher than expectations on the first year. It does, it does take at least two years. Hey, if you haven't done the job after a couple of years, then you know how you can't stay around forever. The main decision there was so I crashed the car at Bathurst. It's a horror for them, isn't it? They're going to have to replace the whole front spoiler assembly as well. That was the end of, of, of that for me, um, and I felt like I was sort of almost set up and put in a situation where I couldn't really show, uh, show any potential. After a year on the sidelines, he was given a lifeline by Tasman Motorsport, and he made the most of his second chance. And Jamie Wincup, best ever V8 result and a podium man at Bathurst. In 2006, the offer of a full-time drive came from an Australian motorsport newcomer. Roland Dane signed him to Triple Eight Race Engineering. He found his home. On debut with the team in Adelaide, Wincup surprised his new boss and himself. Remember this young guy, Jamie Wincup. Sends the Ford fans into a frenzy. Wincup wins for the first time. I'll take the win, but uh, certainly didn't deserve the win. I wasn't fit enough. I didn't, didn't do my homework. I just was... As I say, I was so far behind the car, but um, we put ourselves in the right place at the right time. I remember that night, um, the team like, we went to the pub and let's shout everyone beers, but to be honest, I didn't have two bob to rub together. So I was, I had to put it on my credit card. I had to put the first round on my credit card. I didn't have any money. And uh, I just tried to work out how I was gonna pay it back. From humble beginnings, Wincup quickly became V8 Supercar's hottest property and at the end of 2009 had back-to-back -back championships and three Bathurst wins to his name. A three-peat for Team Vodafone, Craig Lowndes and Jamie Wincup. The relentless winning streak prompted people to question whether he could be stopped. In 2010, the question was answered. A new V8 Supercar champion is crowned here at Sydney Olympic Park. Well done, James Courtney. We lost this championship. We had all the tools in the box to do, to do the job. Um, we just didn't pull it together. You know, we, we got complacent after 08, 09, um, and we, we lost the championship. I don't look back on it and go, oh, it's okay, we, we won a few more since then. We, we let that slip, that's, uh, that's gone. We'll never be able to get it back.
In 2011, he was back with vengeance. And here comes the man who has now joined the greats. Three-time V8 Supercar Champion, Jamie Wincup. In 2012, as he prepared for his title defence, he suffered a huge loss with the passing of his father, David, following a short battle with cancer. It's one of the toughest things I've done. And because I was best friends with my dad and I spent uh, every weekend at go-kart tracks, we holidayed together. He was my, my dad, my best mate, my biggest role model the whole lot, you know. So to lose someone like that so early, I, I've, I've spent the next two years just reminding people of, uh, of how valuable your, your time with your parents are. Still reeling from his family's loss, in the same week, Win Cup went on to win the opening race of the season in one of the most emotional victories of his career. You've got to applaud this man who's put together one of the most perfect efforts you'll ever see to claim victory in the season opener. I brought my 2012 car because of that race, you know, because uh, that race meant so much to me. Parson Davo, who's, who we've grown up together on the last lap. I'm not a spiritual person, but it was pretty crazy what happened. And uh, yeah, as I say, I'll be, I'll be able to be reminded of that race uh, with, the, with this car when I'm old. Come December, he was champion once more. Here comes our 2012 oh, yeah. champion. Can't thank you guys enough, thank you. 2013, a new era, new cars, new rules and new competition provided Win Cup with another opportunity to prove himself. Five championships. He now sits up there with the greats. In 2014, the Win Cup juggernaut continues to gather momentum. However, the season hasn't been without incident. At the super cheap auto Bathurst 1000, he copped widespread criticism for his all or nothing approach to the biggest race of the season. He cops a whack and another whack and Mostert goes through on the inside. And Chess Mostert, he is the winner of the super cheap auto Bathurst 1000. I don't need to win anymore in my mind. I, I don't feel this urge to have to prove that I can drive a car or, or anything like that. I can, uh, I can just go out there and swing freely and and, uh, and see what I can do, you know. My, my biggest, my only competitor really is myself now. I don't mind getting beaten, I just hate losing, you know. If we don't do a good job and we lose, there's nothing worse than that, you know. But if someone steps up and beats us, happy days. Win Cup is a driver who has little left to prove in the sport of V8 supercars. He holds the all-time pole position record. Five championships four Bathurst victories and 84 race wins with a brilliant success rate. If he lifts the champion trophy for a record-breaking sixth time in Sydney, it'll be on his terms. If there's no outpouring of emotion, don't be disappointed. Just enjoy riding the wave with a great driver who just might go on to be the greatest of all time. Uh, I love the sport, so I've uh, got full dedication to that, and I, I feel like spend a lot of time trying to be the, the best I can be, you know, so you might think I'm stuck in my ways. I'm not, I just think that's the best way to do it. Um, and until until someone can prove me up differently, then, uh, then, then that's the way I roll.